In this video we will be discussing the 12 Agile principles which are followed in Agile project management. First principle. Customer satisfaction is our priority, which we achieve through early and consistent delivery of important software. It's true that it takes a lot of time and effort to create a product, but at the end of the day, what makes the customer happy is the valuable work in software. Therefore, the principle focuses on early and continuous delivery of software. Second principle. Changes in requirements are welcome, especially if they occur late in the project development. Agile methods handle change for the customer's competitive advantage. When we work on something for a long time, we gain more knowledge. We may have a lot of knowledge at first, but not nearly as much as we have after we start working. Similarly, our customers understand their needs even more clearly after seeing the product provided by us. As a result, consumer requirements are constantly evolving, ensuring that customers receive what they need to be competitive. Third principle, generate working software on a regular basis from a few weeks to a few months with the priority for the shorter time frame. This approach emphasizes product delivery on a regular basis as this makes the development process more agile. We will receive immediate feedback from customers if we deliver frequently, and we will be able to make improvements to the product before it is too late. Fourth principle. Throughout the project, business people and developers must collaborate on a daily basis. This principle helps to maintain the product's business and technical aspects on the same page. When business people and developers collaborate, they build a shared knowledge of how to enhance projects. From the business side, the development team receives an end-user perspective. It ensures that the entire development process is transparent and efficient. Fifth principle. Develop projects that revolved around people who were passionate about what they were doing. Provide the environment, support their requirement, and trust them to complete the tasks. Sixth principle. Face-to-face -face communication is the most efficient and effective technique of conveying information to and within a development team. The majority of the project's communication is focused on the project's process and content. Face-to-face -face conversations allow for immediate clarification and communication. As a result, project development becomes more efficient and accurate. Seventh principle. The primary indicator of progress is working software. As we know that working software is the most valuable for the customer, measuring of the project progress should be based on the actual working software. A software program is not complete until it has been successfully tested and deployed. It is complete after it has been tested and accepted by the end user. Eighth principle. Agile processes encourage sustainable development. Sponsors, developers, and consumers should all be able to keep up a steady pace indefinitely. Software development is like cycling a marathon. You must maintain your speed, but not to the point of exhaustion. Similarly, Continuous software feature production leads to sustainable development. Ninth principle. Maintaining a constant focus on technical excellence and good design improves agility. Agile focuses on development of software like craft mentor rather than just working on a regular task. Tenth principle. Simplicity is the art of minimizing the amount of effort that isn't done. More features make the product more complicated. It's difficult to test, maintain, and develop complex codes. Eleventh principle. Self-organizing teams produce the finest architectures, requirements, and designs. A self-organizing team does not rely on others to allocate tasks to them. For an example, the teams find their own work and manage their associated responsibilities and timeline. They take on the responsibilities of choosing the most effective way to complete their work. Furthermore, self-organizing teams do not require a boss to allocate work to them. They do require a mentor who can assist them in developing their skills. Having self-organizing teams promote collaboration, teamwork, 
competency, regular growth, motivation, and commitment. Twelfth principle. The team reflects on how to become more effective at regular intervals, then adapts and adjusts its behavior accordingly.